How's it going everybody? I haven't did a review video in a while and I seen I didn't have a Onyx 15 and this one's going out to a customer uh, so I figured I'd do one real quick as well as I'm recording one so maybe I'll pull that apart and show you all the fun stuff. But anyways here we go. Uh, so I'll be reading it right off Resilient Sounds site. I'll show you at the end you can go ahead and pause the video uh, but here we go. Resilient Sounds Onyx 15 Starting from the top, you just have your standard paperback cone. Nothing too special about that. Your nice dust cap surround. This is a more geared towards the SPL sub. Uh, so the frequency of these are 42 hertz. So I imagine after break, proper break-in, proper box, all that good stuff, you probably drop down to mid-30s. Uh, and be due to the fact these are SPL subs, uh, the 1 watt, 1 meter, uh, for the SPL is 93.7. So they're very efficient with the power that you give them. Uh, they do hand, they're conservatively rated at 2,500 RMS, 5K peak in the proper setup. And I can't stress this, this out enough. Uh, I'm sure you can put much more to that, uh, but you have to have the absolute proper setup. They have plenty of customers put well beyond the power rating of these on there, but proper setup is key. Uh, so going down a little bit more, we have your nine and a quarter five stacked Nomex spiders. They are bolted down with this plastic trim ring with little Allen key screws that go through the whole basket itself. Going over, you do have your triple leads and they are sewn to the spider. Nice eight gauge push terminals. Might be oversized eight gauge. Uh, I may be mistaken. If so, you can correct me down in the comments, but very nice push terminals. Um, as of the the uh, sub above this, the team, I believe it has triple uh, leads as well. When you go down to the Onyx, I'm sorry, the Platinum, you do have dual leads, but there's a V2 coming out, so that possibly could change. Uh, going down, you have your nice white basket. And going down even farther, you have your four inch four layer there you go four inch four layer flat wound aluminum voice coil i'll give you some measurements or whatnot when i pull that one apart next to me a little bit nice chrome bat chrome motor boot ring magnet boot ring going to the bottom here i know it's upside down nice chrome resilient sounds dual two that's this model they come in dual twos dual one you have your Vent, RMS, Onyx, uh, and then that's pretty much it with the Onyx 15. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you a little bit of this one I'm recalling for someone. I'll try to do this one-handed, so I apologize. Okie dokie. So I'll give you a little sneak peek since I got this one going on here. Okay, so since this one's all torn apart, here you go. That's just your venting goes straight down there. And then as of your coil, this is a brand new drop-in OEM. Get my tape measure out here, give you guys some measurements. So other than it being a four inch coil, your coil length looks to be a little over two inches uh, so a little two inch long coil not bad and like i said flat one your sewn leads when you do buy a recone and if it's oem uh, they do not come with the little tabs you do have to do some soldering but other than that the back side of your cone front half of your cone nice glue joint and pretty much that's it uh, i mean just your standard oem dropping there's a couple companies out there that make some really good recones i've used for customers when i recone these uh, dan horner from direct x i believe is probably my top one i always use uh you know and then just there you go the rest rest of it uh, so i'm gonna go over here i'm just gonna put this up for a second you can pause the video if you wish this is straight off of resilient sounds 
I'm sorry, let me get rid of my home button. Home button's broke. Straight off their page. You can go ahead and pause it if you like, uh, including the X Max, which is 30 millimeters. And then I believe if you scroll down somewhere, there's a box spec. Oh, here we go, off to the side. There you go, so a healthy box spec with Resilient Sounds recommends for these. Uh, from my personal experience, I have found the Onyxes aren't too, too picky on boxes. Um, they do very well in a good variety of boxes. Uh, but I mean, like I said, playing around with them, proper box setup is 100% key. Uh, so there you go. So if you have any questions, please feel free. Uh, shoot me a comment down below. Uh, I do sell Resilient Sound. I am a local dealer for Resilient Sounds, Sky High Car Audio, um, Stenson, Brand X, as well as some other lithium batteries, custom boxes, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so feel free, even if you get a question, shoot me a comment. Most of my stuff is through Facebook and Instagram and whatnot. So if I do respond to you, look at look in the bio, and preferably the easiest is Facebook if you have a serious question and you're local. If not, shoot me a question. No big deal. Okay, guys, have a good one.